Hey there, this is Joshua from Stanimate, and in this video, we're going to install Laravel Herd on our Mac to turn it into a PHP development environment ready for new Stanimic and Laravel projects. Laravel Herd is quite new and the easiest and most beginner friendly solution to get started with modern PHP development on your local machine. The only real requirement is that you have a Mac running macOS 12 or later. For the sake of this video, I removed PHP from my Mac entirely. To confirm this, let's open the terminal and check by typing which PHP. As you can see, no PHP has been found. So let's change this. Go to herd.laravel.com and click the download button. Once the download is finished, open the DMG file and drag the app into your applications folder. After that's done, you can open it to get the installation started. And you see this welcome screen. Let's click, let's get started and put in your password. My password is actually quite long. <laughs> All right, if you used Laravel Valet previously, you can migrate from it and it will sync your settings and linked sites. If you haven't used Valet before, you won't see this screen. Since I used Valet before, I click Stop Valet and continue after that. Now the actual PHP binaries will get downloaded and this is going to take a few seconds. All right. Looks like everything went well and you should now see this screen and also have a new item in your menu bar for Herd, which gives you additional settings and shows you the status. Also note that by default your projects are stored in the Herd folder in your home directory. Awesome! Your Mac is now a fully fledged PHP dev machine. To confirm, open the terminal and type in which PHP and it should now give you the path for your installed PHP binary. Next, let's install the Statomic CLI by a composer to be able to create new and fresh Statomic projects. To do this, type composer global require Statomic slash CLI and hit enter. I have already done this to speed things up. For you, it should only take a few seconds. Nice. The last step on our journey is to actually create a new static site, which is super easy with the CLI. Let's cd into the herd directory and type static new hofs journal to create a new static project. The CLI will now prompt you for a few inputs to configure your site. So let's do this. Let's start with a blank site. Let's create a super user and let's start the repository later. Ready? Yeah, let's do this. So this will also take a few seconds. All right, now let's create a user. Let's do david at hassle.com. Let's say the half and put in a password. All right. Once all those steps are completed, let's cd in to our new site and type in herd open to open the site in our browser. Awesome. It works. To access the control panel, Statomix admin area, just append slash cp to the URL and here you can log in with the user you just created. So let's give it a try. David at hasselhoff.com. Type in our password. Awesome, we're in. That's it. Great job. In this video, we set up a PHP development environment on our Mac installed the static CLI and created a new static site. Awesome. 
So stay red and see you in the next video.